the blue sound node is the best streamer available maybe at any price Hey, I'm Randy, and you're watching The Cheap Audio Man. Here at The Cheap Audio Man, we help folks find high-value hi-fi, home theater, and headphone equipment. And today, we're talking about the Blue Sound Node. I think this is the third generation of the Node product. This is just the Node, no power Node. So, sit down, grab a cup of coffee, and let's talk about the Blue Sound Node. So this video has nothing to do with the Klipsch, Klipsch, RP Klipsch, RP 500 M's, nothing. It's just I got them back. They looked pretty, so I figured I'd put them up here. Love that speaker. Blue Sound Node. Oh, by the way, we're not doing a sponsor today. If you're new to the channel, you probably don't know about our sponsors. Not doing a sponsor today. However, if you continue to want to have the fake sponsors, put them down in the comments. Some people didn't like them anymore. Blue Sound Node. So there was a Node and then a Node 2i, and then this one, which is back to Node. I believe this is the third generation. But let's talk about streaming. Streaming! It's super awesome. It's super convenient. If we're using our computer or our TV or Apple TV, whatever it is, we're streaming. Streaming's awesome. One has access to an exhaustive list of music just about anything you could possibly want there's so many different services there's a wide variety of products you can get but sometimes there's a little bit of a eh, i gotcha that gotcha it's called gapless playback if you watch john darko you may have seen and heard him talk about gapless playback i am so in line with what he thinks about gapless playback what is it and why is it important Let's say you're listening to a live record, i.e. Nirvana, MTV, Unplugged. And one track leads right into the next. If you have gapped playback, which is on most streamers, if you have a gap in there, it stops a couple seconds and then it starts again. If you're listening to something like Pink Floyd or something else where one track goes right into the next, it doesn't. With streaming, it stops. Actually, some CD players do that as well. I didn't know that. So gaps, depending upon what type of music you listen to, if you're into full albums, you're gonna want a gapless streamer. At least I do. It really bugs me when there's a gap. If you just listen to a ton of playlists, probably not gonna bother you. If you listen to albums in their entirety, front to back, start to finish, might be, might be something to consider. Why do I say all this? Well, Thanks for asking, because the Blue Sound node plays gaplessly. Not only does it play gaplessly, it plays gaplessly with some services that don't play gaplessly with anybody else. Case in point, Amazon Music. Amazon Music is my streaming music of choice because it's cheap. You get lossless music and it's the cheapest option out there. Problem is, Amazon Music does integrate with a lot of other streamers, but it doesn't play gaplessly except on the blue sound and the Amazon link and like Alexa's and things like that. I can't believe I said it, which makes sense because Amazon makes those products. This is the only product that Amazon doesn't make that plays gaplessly. And I sure do like that. So the actual review portion of this video isn't going to be very long. The video is probably going to be long because we're going to talk about a lot of the features and functionality of the blue sound node but here here's the review the dac and the blue sound node is better than the node 2i and i would assume is better than the, the first gen the dac is more spacious it has better detail retrieval it's more cohesive and it's a lot cleaner clearer instrument separation it's better the blue sound nodes dac is better than the node two eyes dac and the node two eyes dac wasn't horrible it sounded fine but some folks that reviewed that product didn't recommend it because of the performance of the dac that's kind of like not recommending a car because of the rims you don't like the you don't like the rim the rims suck the rim 
the rims aren't good. So you can't recommend the car. You can change the rims. You can change the tack on this thing too because it has optical digital out, coaxial digital out. If you don't like the sound of the DAC or if you get it and then you want to upgrade the DAC later, buy a cable and you put it on the back of the, of the blue sound and you run it into your magic DAC and you're done. Criticizing this product on the DAC performance is, is not really taking the entirety of this product into consideration. But guess what? I think the new DAC in this thing is great. I, I didn't mind the DAC in the 2i, but this one's better. Most people that listen to this and A-beat it with the Node 2i would say it's better. And I have that. My Node 2 is right here. I bought it. It's mine. Okay, so I'm looking at my notes. DAC is more spacious, detailed, and uh, more dynamic. I, I left that part out. Here's another thing about streaming. In music in general, when I listen to music and I want to enjoy music, I kind of weigh the amount of work it takes to enjoy the music to how much am I going to enjoy the music. And generally what happens is I kind of land in the middle. So I have a combination of convenience and music quality. I may like vinyl, but maybe I don't want to get up and change the record. I may like CDs, but maybe I want to listen to a whole bunch of music. Maybe I want Skynet to choose the next tracks that I'm going to listen to. A little AI. I want to discover some new music. That's what's great about streaming. That's what's great about all these different streaming services. They're convenient. They sound good. Sometimes they sound fantastic. And at the end of the day, I am going to enjoy more music, even if the fidelity could be beaten by maybe another product. And I don't say this to imply that the fidelity on the Blue Sound Node is bad. It is not. It's quite a step up from the Blue Sound Node 2i. I'm just saying this because oftentimes companies will talk about, oh, their sounds better, this, that, and the other. But at the end of the day, if you can't use that other product as easily as you can use the Blue Sound, you're not going to use it. Which means it could sound perfect. It could sound like the angels have left heaven and are singing to you personally. But if you can't figure out how to use it, or it's not enjoyable to use it, then you're not going to use it. So list price on this and what it's going for right now is $600. And that sounds like a lot for a streamer. But this just isn't a streamer. It's a DAC. You can optical into this. It has HDMI eARC, which means you can hook it up to your TV. Also has an analog input via a 3.5 millimeter. So if you use the analog input, you're gonna have to get an RCA to 3.5 unless your analog input outputs a 3.5. It has base management. That's right, base management. So you can put a high pass filter on your front speakers. Also has a subwoofer output. Take an analog input. You can take digital inputs, two digital inputs, one HDMI, one mini optical. The problem with the mini optical and the 3.5 millimeter analog is they take up the same jack. So you're using one or the other. Either you're using the 3.5 millimeter jack or you're using the mini optical. There is also a USB port in there for a hard drive or a thumbstick thing. You got your music, a bunch of FLAC files on a, on a hard drive or a thumb drive. You can stick it in there and listen to it through the blue sound. It has an Ethernet connection on the back. But here's another thing. The, the Wi-Fi in this thing, flawless. I did most of my testing in my studio. And studio, when I say studio, I mean my office. My office is at the corner of the house. And the Wi-Fi over here isn't great. But it worked the first time turned it on. I already had the Blue Sound app downloaded because I have another Blue Sound product. Flawless. Picked it right up. No problem. Not one dropout. Not one dropout over Wi-Fi. And the latency, latency means how long does it take to go from one track to the other, especially if you're doing random and things like that. The latency between one to two seconds on Wi-Fi. That is the best. That's class. That's class leading. It's the best out there. Use a PlayFi streamer, switch tracks, and see how long it takes. I think John Darko talked about that too. I've talked about that in other videos. I would argue even if this was just a streamer and it didn't have any analog inputs, didn't have any sub out, didn't have any of that, I would still say $600 is a price that is worth it for this product. What can it do? I'm glad you asked. So gapless playback on Amazon and Tidal has Tidal Connect, 
which means you just pull up your app on your phone, you click a little speaker button and it says connect, and you connect to the Blue Sound. So now you're not going through the Blue Sounds application or app to do anything you're just going off the title and i love that type of interface because most of the time a streamer's app is not as smooth as titles app or amazon music app or spotify app which makes sense right because they developed that app just for their service the great thing here is the blue sound app is awesome already but with title connect and spotify connect you don't even have to get into the blue sound app I only tested this with Spotify, with Tidal, and with Amazon Music. Why? Let's, let's tell you why, all right? Calm Radio, Deezer, Adagio, iHeartRadio, KKBox, LiveX Live, Napster, Nugs.net, Neil Young Archives, Cobuzz, WSIC, I don't know, Radio Paradise, Radio.com, SiriusXM, Spotify, Sound Machine, Tidal, TuneIn, Tunify. That's why I only listen to it through Tidal, Amazon Music, and Spotify. Because if I did, this review video would never come out. That's how many options there are for different services. Not only do you have those options, you have AppText, HD, Bluetooth. One also has the ability to do a thumb drive. One also has the ability to pull in a NAS, which means I put my music on a thing and I hook it up to my Wi-Fi. So I can stream wirelessly from my NAS, to the blue sound, minimal latency, awesome. Awesome. Now that's not a feature that is unique to blue sound. A lot of streamers can do that. On the top of it, there's a little glass looking thing that you can do some controls on it. It's pretty good looking. Uh, it has a proximity alert. Proximity alert. Has real, real good peripheral vision. It's cool though. Also, you can get a fully functioning infrared remote for this. It's 60 bucks. But if one is not into changing things around, on their phone and they want to just do some quick volume changes or track changes you can get a remote for that which is cool because this thing really could be the nucleus of an entertainment system put it right next to your tv hdmi out of the tv into the blue sound node hook up some speakers subwoofer analog input get your remote you're rocking and rolling at 600 dollars, let's do let's do a little system build i want to put this thing in perspective you buy the blue sound node that's 600 dollars. buy the iema a07 that's $80 you add the remote $60 buy yourself a pair of Emotiva B1 pluses turn $50 at a thousand dollars you have speakers you have an amp you have a streaming preamp you have your TV so there's all sorts of different stuff you can do through there at a thousand dollars you have an entire system with the best streaming software available and the option to add a sub. So later you add a sub for 300 bucks. Add a U-turn turntable for 250 bucks. So now for another 550 bucks, around $1,500, you have the best streaming service. You have vinyl, you can plug that right into the back of the Blue Sound. You have bass management, you have a subwoofer, and you have a set of speakers. Obviously, whatever speakers you choose is gonna change the price and subwoofer and turntable. When you want to step up the DAC, buy yourself a Topping E50, buy yourself a Gashelli Lads J2, buy yourself a Denifreps Ares 2, buy yourself a Modi, buy yourself any DAC that you like and you want and digital out of it. It can also pass MQA. So if you're in the MQA, not only does it do MQA through its own DAC, but it can pass MQA out to another DAC. It already sounds good. It sounds better than the Node 2i. Frankly, if it wasn't for the Denifreps Ares 2 that I have in house, I probably wouldn't even use an external DAC with this. If I had another one lying around, I might try it, might try ABing it. But to my ears, the DAC and the Blue Sound Node is just fine. I get it, $600 is a lot. And if you want streaming, and you're on a budget, and you can't swing $600, or you're not gonna save up for $600, and you're only into Amazon Music, look at the uh, uh, Echo Link. It does some similar things to this, but it only really works well with Amazon Music. Then I would look at the Arillic S50 Pro Plus, I think. It has similar functionality. I don't think it has Tidal Connect, but it does have gaps. But it's very, very good. And I think that comes in at around 200-ish, maybe a little bit more. Then you can look at the Andover Songbird, little tiny thing does a lot of different music services 
no sub out. So this is that's just a little tiny streamer. Or you can build yourself a Raspberry Pi, put a digital hat on there, put a DAC hat on there, and then put on Volumio or, or whatever it is. Also, this works flawlessly with Rune. So if you're into Rune, I keep wanting to say Rune, Rune, then the blue sound be just fine. Again, shocking. So this is going to be a bold statement. The blue sound node is the best streamer available. Maybe at any price. And the reason being is mostly because of the software, mostly because of how easy it is to use it. So more people are going to use it. I'm not choosing anything else. I'll put this through the den of reps and I'll be done. Done. I don't have to look for another streamer anymore. Even if I got 10% more fidelity, I'm not doing it if it doesn't have the software that this thing does. It's just not worth it. And I'm not going to use it. Again, it could sound like the New York Philharmonic is in my office. And it doesn't matter if I can't figure out how to get the New York Philharmonic symphony into my office. The Blue Sound interface is so far ahead of anybody else out there. PlayFi, Heos, any of the other streaming softwares that Volumio, any of the other softwares that I've used. It's so far ahead of the other ones, it's embarrassing. They don't even get close to the usability and the ease of use as the Blue Sound. That's all. That's all I have to say about that. So what's the only way to make this better? Literally, there's one thing that I want. Only one thing that I... Well, I'll take that back. I would love to see a full-size analog input separate from the digital input. Okay? I'm splitting hairs, though. And then a separate digital input. It'd be cool if there's another digital input, but I'm not going to get greedy. So the one and only thing I want? Screen. I want a screen. I want to see the really cool, awesome album art. I want to see Rob Zombie pop up there when his track comes on. And I know they can do it because they already have it in the NAD products. Blue Sound, if you're watching, please, please make one of these, make it a little bit bigger, put a screen on the front. I wanna see Rob Zombie, I wanna see Elton John, I wanna see Alanis Morissette, I wanna see Helmet, Prodigy, I wanna see it. And I'll give you money out of my wallet. I'll give you money, I'll give you my credit card number because when that comes out, and but seven fifty to eight hundred dollars, seven fifty to eight hundred dollars with the screen, this thing, just as it is, just add a screen, put a screen on there, just sell me the screen, I'll plug it in somehow. Seven hundred fifty to eight hundred dollars, I'm giving you my credit card number today because I want it when it's released. I love it. It's the best streamer available. Wonderful product. Blue Sound sets the bar. Everybody is chasing them, and I don't think they're going to catch up. So. If you want to support the channel, you can sign up for Amazon Music. There's a link in the description. Sign up for Amazon Music. Get yourself a Blue Sound node. And you're playing gaplessly and loving life. You can also purchase the product through my links. Those are affiliate links. If you purchase the Blue Sound, I will get a commission. You can also sign up for Patreon. Patreon.com slash Cheap Man. Every Sunday night, we have Patreon-only Zooms. We also have a Patreon-only Facebook group. So don't binge watch anything on Netflix or Hulu. Binge listen. Well, you can. You can binge watch. Just plug the HDMI cable into here. Binge listen and fill your soul with happiness. And with that, I'm Randy. I'm the Cheap Audio Man.